Hi, I'm Bruce Gershon from Arrow Leather Care, and today we're going to talk about how to clean a fine leather garment. Uh, we have to start with um, fine leather garment probably means that it's a more expensive piece, fancier, uh, thin piece of leather, uh, delicate, and a uh, few examples I have here are, um, this is a, uh, a very uh, fine, thin, soft lamb skin. Uh, this garment is uh, the same type of leather. Uh, this is basically a, um, uh, a black uh, semi-aniline, meaning it doesn't have a hard painted finish on it. Uh, I've got another uh, example here of a uh, piece of um, a lamb skin. This is a very, very soft, full aniline lamb. Uh, you can tell it has no top finish um, and... Uh, and you know, has a very, very soft hand to it. Uh, there would be different ways to uh, clean and, and care for and maintain these two uh, because of the, um, the full aniline uh, nature of this uh, skin. When you, um, to test uh, a skin to see that it is a full aniline, meaning it, the color is all the way through the the skin and there's no protective top finish, you can uh, test it with a little moisture on a cloth and if it the moisture soaks in and it darkens the leather and you see it's drying very quickly because I didn't put a lot of moisture on it, that's full aniline. Uh, likewise with a, uh, uh, a piece that's uh, not quite as soft but very thin, uh, the moisture on this would stay sit on top uh, you can test it on an unexposed area of the leather. Uh, but this, um, the painted finish garment is going to be a little easier to, to care for and maintain. Baby wipes work great just to uh, wipe some surface soil and dust off of the garment. Uh, the collar, the uh, shoulders that usually show uh, a little dust and, and dirt, uh, get a little stain on it, uh, a spot on the lapel, say, uh, some food or something, wipe right off. Uh, you can also use a, a fine leather lotion to help protect it. Uh, they, uh, again, I would test an unexposed area because uh, if you use this on a, uh, a full aniline piece, you're going to uh, darken the skin. So um, just as an example, that darkening right there it's probably going to to stay dark i don't think it's going to dry and and um you know look look the same but on a on a painted piece uh that's not going to hurt anything and and it'll actually help protect the leather a little bit a little uh, moisturizing of the leather so on the black the tan works great uh this uh leather jacket on the uh on the mannequin here is um a semi-aniline, which means it's, uh, it's got a little bit of pigment paint in the top finish. And you can see that front edge is uh, a little bit worn. A little leather lotion on there will probably, uh, will probably refresh that. A little moisture in there, and um, that will help maintain it. Another thing with a, a, a fine leather garment, um, you want to use a wide-shouldered, shaped hanger to, to hang it on and uh, so that you don't get points in the shoulders. And another suggestion would be a breathable garment bag. This is, um, uh, as opposed to plastic, leather needs to breathe. So you're gonna hang it uh, long term to uh, keep the dirt and dust off of it. Uh, I would suggest a breathable garment bag such as <clears throat> this one, this zipper bag, works great. So, hope that helps you. That's all I have today. This is Bruce Gershon. Thanks for watching.